Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and yesterday Apple released macOS Big Sur Beta 10. This is available to developers and came in around 3.5 gigabytes depending on the device you're using. In this case, 3.82 gigabytes. Now, I'm using this on a 2019 Mac Pro, and here is the build number so you can see which version you're on. This build number is 20A5395G. If you have that build number, you'll know that it's actually the same version as this. Now, Many of you have been asking me, why haven't I been making videos about Mac OS Big Sur? And that's because there hasn't been any physical significant changes that you've been able to see for a while. So there are a couple in this particular update. And the first one is a little bit of a change in the way it works when you use a MacBook and you want to lock the MacBook. So if you press the power button, it will immediately lock the display. Now for me on some MacBooks, I recall this seems to be a normal feature with Mac OS Catalina, but for others, they're saying that they're seeing this as new. Let me know what yours is doing in the comments below. Now in the menu bar, there's a new feature, which is actually an option, but now it's turned on by default and that's now playing. So up here in the upper right, you have now playing. If you have music open, for example, or maybe you have media from YouTube open, it will show them in here. So you can see them. You can see the status of the song, for example, while it's playing and you'll be able to see how long it's got left or when it ends. So that's a nice little feature. You can turn that off in system preferences though, if you'd like to. Now, another new feature has to do with AirPods or a connected audio device. So if I connect my AirPods Pro to my Mac, it will take just a moment to do that. We'll give it a second here and we'll go to the Bluetooth settings here and we'll connect AirPods Pro. It takes just a moment and you can see they immediately show up in the top right. So now they're showing up by themselves. You can click on them. The icon is now just the AirPods as opposed to just a little audio so symbol like we have here. So as long as you're using AirPods or something that's supported, maybe Beats, they'll show up like this. Now the next change has to do with the wallpaper. You may be able to see one of the new ones here. If we go into system preferences and then we go to desktop and screensaver, you can see we have Big Sur Arial and they've changed the way this looks a little bit. So we have dynamic desktop here with Big Sur. This is the standard wallpaper. And then we have, of course, Catalina and Mojave and Solar Gradients and then light and dark desktop. There's a couple different ones as well. And if we go through some of the wallpapers, there's some of the ones that have been there before, but a lot of really nice wallpapers, Big Sur Shore Rocks. Let me move this out of the way. Big Sur Shore Rocks. So there's a bunch of new ones. Some people are saying they're seeing more than others, but Big Sur Road, we've got Big Sur Night Succulents, Big Sur Night Grass and then back to Catalina. So there's some nice new ones in here and a nicely redesigned wallpaper picker. So I think I'll switch over to Big Sur Ariel, kind of like that one. And let's talk about a couple other things. Now there's not a lot of other visual changes, but some people are reporting that 4K YouTube is not working on Safari and it seems to work fine for me. So here's my iOS 14.1 GM is out video. And if we go to the quality, you can see that I have 4K as an option. So it's still there. I don't have anything special turned on and it's there. So it should be there for you. It's working fine for me. Let me know if it's working okay for you in the comments below. Now there's a couple things that they've fixed. One thing I've noticed is I use Final Cut Pro a lot to edit videos and Final Cut Pro was having an issue when importing footage. You'd place a new memory card in and it would show up once you open Final Cut Pro, but if you swapped that memory card, it wouldn't show up again. And also some of the footage wouldn't fully import. That's now fixed and it's working properly. So all of that footage import issue seems to be resolved. Also photos is still randomly crashing on me and I can't drag and drop the photo to the desktop. It's just not working properly. So if I go into photos and you can see this was the be right back for the Apple store. If I drag that to the desktop, you'll see it just sort of disappears. It doesn't work properly for some reason. And then photos will sometimes crash on me. Now they have said that they've fixed some issues in this particular update. So one of them that they've fixed has to do with notes and photos no longer quitting unexpectedly if the system language is set to Greek. I have it crash regardless of the system language. So they say it's fixed. Of course, you need to report those in feedback when you have issues. 
And then also they have 25 known issues that are still in this particular update. So it's not really advised to install if you have critical work to do. So installing can take significantly longer than expected. And that's what I experienced when I installed this. It took almost two hours to install on a Mac Pro after downloading it. So it took an incredibly long time. Also installing from beta 2 to beta 10 could have a huge download size. There are some workarounds for that. Now, if you're using Parallels Desktop 16, you could have a kernel panic, which could, would completely lock up the Mac and you'd have to restart it. So those are known issues. However, they've resolved 11 issues as well. One of them is photos not quitting when set to Greek, like I said, and then that final cut issue and some other things as well have been resolved. So it seems like it's a fairly solid update to beta nine. We'll still have to use it for a few days. I'm using it full time to edit all of my videos on. It's been a pain with beta nine. Beta 10 seems much better, but I still would not install this if you have critical work to do. I just wait until maybe even the second version of Mac OS Big Sur is out. And most people that do critical work know that. For example, my app Piso, many audio apps just won't work. So you'll need to have an alternative to that, maybe GarageBand or something else. So there's still some issues with this update. Applications will need to be updated for it, and hopefully we'll see the final version maybe within a couple weeks. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe with a Mac, the Apple releases later this year in November, so we'll have to wait and see. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description so you can check it out. I think a couple other sites posted them, so I'll link them in the description below. And if you'd like to see more Mac OS videos, let me know in the comments as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. Thank you.